From migrating long distances to avoiding predators, the synchronization of large groups of animals is mesmerizing to watch and essential for their survival. Animals create these displays by perceiving the location of neighbors. But most drone swarms, like intels, have replicated large-scale coordination using a different approach, a singular system that manages movement and GPS location. Some groups of drones, like Swarmanoid, a fleet of flying, wheeled, and climbing robots, have been able to organize without a central hub. But this type of decentralized coordination has been difficult to achieve underwater, until now. First, researchers tackled how their school of robotic fish, dubbed Blue Swarm, would communicate. Since radio signals are extremely weak underwater and GPS coordinates are unavailable, they took inspiration from two of the many ways fish communicate with each other, vision and bioluminescence. Two wide-angle cameras created an almost omnidirectional field of vision, and LED lights toward the back of the robot coordinated contact. Researchers simplified the raw image from the camera so that the fish bots could easily process their surroundings and make quick decisions. By determining the size and location of nearby lights, they could figure out the distance of a neighboring fish. Four fins on the bot, inspired by the surgeon fish, allowed for precise vertical and horizontal movement. After perfecting the robot, they created algorithms to coordinate their behavior. In order to replicate milling, swimming in a collective circle, researchers devised a simple set of rules. If a blue bot saw a robot, they turned slightly left. If there was no bot in their field of vision, they would turn right. Ultimately, researchers developed multiple types of synchronized movements, including the ability for the blue swarm to switch seamlessly between different behaviors. Their sequence of movements must be programmed ahead of time since the bots are not connected to a central computer. But the blue swarm isn't ready to be deployed in the wild just yet. The LED lights on the back aren't easy to make out in light-flooded coral reefs or murkier environments. To use these fish bots for observation in real-life settings, researchers plan to swap the lights for artificial schooling marks, with colors easily distinguishable from their surroundings. Using an LED light on the front of the robot, in addition to the back LEDs, can help identify an angle a neighbor is traveling, with schooling marks seeing more or less of the band or a change in reflection could signal to neighbors its orientation. Until then, it's back to school for these robot fish.